Zip Tie Domes presents How to Build a Do-It-Yourself 360 Video Projection Screen for a Full Dome or Shared Virtual Reality Experience. We have had several people use our domes for building a 360 dome projection screen, and here are two of our favorite examples. Diana Reichenbach is an award-winning multimedia artist specializing in immersive and architectural media. Her artistic work explores 360-degree space through full dome filmmaking, architectural installation, projection mapping, and interactive experiments. Diana is a recipient of the 2017 Bowen Award for Excellence in Research, the 2014 Best Use of Dome Award at Full Dome UK, and the 2013 Science, Art, and Culture Award from the first Russian Full Dome Festival. For the Baltimore Lights Public Arts Installation for the City of Baltimore, Maryland, Diana Reichenbach and Chris Brannon used a zip-tie dome 16-foot geodesic silo dome to create the 360 video projection surface. This geodesic silo dome has an added vertical knee wall that brings the true equator of the two-frequency dome up about three feet off the ground for a better projection geometry. Diana and Chris shortened the struts of this vertical silo section so that the height of the assembled dome would fit underneath the ceiling of the installation space. Here's how Diana and Chris used the 16-foot wide zip-tie silo dome as a base structure to support a 360 full dome or planetarium style animation show. For the projection surface, they created wood frame triangles that matched the triangles of the dome. These were upholstered with the white fabric material used as a projection surface. The triangles were then secured to the PVC dome structure using zip ties by stapling one zip tie to each side of the wood triangle and then tightening the zip tie around the PVC bar. At first, they attempted to secure the projection material directly to the PVC frame using grip clips, but they found that the fabric draped down too far using this method and didn't fully accentuate the beautiful geodesic structure. While building each wooden triangle was time consuming, they found that stretching the projection material over the wood frames produced the best looking result. They projected the 360 images onto the dome using three projectors, which were blended and mapped to the dome surface. This was extremely difficult to do, even with a specialized Blendy Dome software. The projectors were pointed towards a mirror ball to achieve a fisheye lens projection at a fraction of the cost. The art installation they created for the Baltimore Lights exhibit had a number of stations for people to visit, but they said that the geodesic dome was absolutely the highlight. Chris Brandon said to us in an email that, Before discovering the zip tie dome kits, we were exploring renting an inflatable dome or a metal frame geodesic dome but we found that the zip-tie dome was to be a much more budget-friendly option that we can now continue to use at future events. Thanks again! Diana Reichenbach's website is at www.dianareichenbach.com and you should visit her website to see her latest 360 3D artwork as she is quite talented. I will put a link in the comments section that will take you to her website. Another DIY 360 dome was created by Jose Zamora, who is an assistant professor at the Parsons School of Design in New York City. Mr. Zamora teaches a course for first-year students and wanted his class to build a 3-frequency 5-8, 12-foot diameter geodesic dome to be used as a 360 projection surface at a public event in Liberty Park, Jersey City, New Jersey. The 360 projection dome was built in collaboration with a local charter middle school in celebration of Earth Day in April of 2018. Mr. Zamora had inherited a set of square wooden struts for the dome from a group of students who used them for a thesis project and had no longer a need for them. From his research, Mr. Zamora found that using the zip tie dome hub connector was the most effective, simple to build, and cost-effective method for building a geodesic dome. We worked with Mr. Zamora to design a special hub to handle the 1 and 1 32nd inch square struts. 
Zip-Tie Domes granted Mr. Zamora and his class a license to manufacture their own hubs at no charge using our patented hub design. The dome was a school project with Mr. Zamora's group of 17 freshman students taking a studio course called Space and Materiality. Mr. Zamora's class constructed the projection surface from fabric and vinyl, which was suspended inside the dome. Mr. Zamora used a projector pointed towards a mirror ball to illuminate the interior of the dome. The dome was built as a collaboration with the Parsons Graduate Program in Design and Technology, which was in charge of creating the animated video projections inside the dome. The projections were 3D animations designed as an educational tool for teaching about ecology and sustainability to middle school students from a charter school in New Jersey. The final event was open to the general public during Earth Day 2018 in Liberty State Park in Newark, New Jersey, which looks out over the Statue of Liberty and the skyline of Manhattan. Mr. Zamora said that the dome was very successful and the process of assembly and disassembly was very smooth thanks to the zip tie dome connector design. So here is more information about using a mirror ball for dome projection which is much cheaper than using a fish eye lens. You can buy a 26 inch wide mirror ball or half dome safety mirror from Uline for $71. One of the best sources for technical information about using mirror balls for dome projection is at paulbork.net. Dome Rama also has a good section on using mirror balls for dome projection as well as a do-it-yourself negative pressure projection dome. I will put links in the description below. Your dome projection fabric can be any white fabric backed by an opaque material, but if you want to have a professional grade screen material, look at this blackout lining by Rose Brand. The term IFR means that this fabric is inherently flame retardant and meets all fire code standards. The white on white fabric has a reflective gain of 0.9, which is very high. The best types of geodesic domes to use for dome projections are the two frequency dome and the three frequency dome, as these domes only have two different sizes of triangles that need to be covered. The four frequency and higher frequency domes have between five and seven different triangle sizes, which makes building a projection screen for these domes much more difficult. If you would like for us to help you with your 360 dome projection project, please call us at 931-858-6892 or go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com and send us an email on our Contact Us page. Thanks!